Guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to undertake a two-way ANOVA with replication uh, using uh, Excel's Data Analysis Toolpack. Uh, this is also known as a two-factor design. Okay, it's a, I suppose, it's a statistical test where we have two independent variables, uh, and we have a single dependent variable. Okay, in this case, what we have is our two independent variables. Uh, the first one is the type of drink that the participant that the participant had taken before we performed the experiment. Uh, there's three levels of measurement associated with this particular drink. Uh, they could have drank Diet Coke, regular Coke, or Red Bull. And the second independent variable called exercise is the type of exercise that they that they undertook uh, before before conducting the experiment or before participating. And there's four levels associated with that. There's a, a passive exercise regime. There's an exercise regime that was quite leisurely. And uh, there was one that was a, a little bit more moderate in relation to intensity. And then the final level of measurement with respect to the exercise regime is what's known as a vigorous exercise exercise uh, regime. Okay? So, with respect to our two independent variables, drink has three levels of measurement, uh, or three factors. Sorry, that's our single factor with three levels of measurement. Uh, and we have our second independent variable, exercise, that has four levels of measurement. Okay, The dependent variable in this case was the time it took for the participants to run 400 meters. Okay, Now, what differentiates a two-way ANOVA with replication uh, from the without replication design or the without replication model is that in in the with replication model we have more than one observation for each pairing of level of independent variables so you can see actually that with respect to the exercise variable uh, for the level of measurement passive and when we consider the drink uh, independent variable and the level of measurement diet coke we can see that we've had one two three four five we have six participants yeah uh, that took a passive exercise regime and also drank diet coke before running the 400 meters okay and their times for running the 400 meters are listed here also, you can actually see when it comes to the leisurely measurement and, and the Coke Red Bull, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six observations uh, for the pairing leisurely with Red Bull. Okay. And actually, all of the possible pairings across the levels of independent, the, the levels of measurement for the exercise and for the diet coke, there is six observations. So this type of design, uh, where we have with replication, okay, where there's more than one measurement within each possible pairing of independent variable levels, is what's known as a balanced design. Okay. But the question that we have here is this, is I suppose there's three questions. Uh, we have a, a question with respect to the main effects, okay, with respect to the drink that was drank by the participants. Is there a difference in the average performance of those people that uh, drank Diet Coke compared to the regular Coke or Red Bull version or the Red Bull drink? Uh, that's one possible main effect that we're looking for, differences across uh, drink categories or drink levels. And then the other type of main effect that we're trying to observe is in relation to exercise and in relation to whether there's a difference across passive exercise regime, leisurely, moderate or vigorous. Okay? So like they're sort of, if you think about it, uh, they're sort of uh, single factor ANOVAs, yeah? They're very similar to single factor ANOVAs. Actually, they are single factor ANOVAs, yeah? Where there's a single factor ANOVA done for drink and the level of measurements with respect to drink. There's a single factor ANOVA done for exercise and the level of measurements with respect to exercise regime. But more importantly, what a two-way ANOVA with replication allows us to observe is whether there is any significant interaction between the levels of measurement associated with our two independent variables and the time scored on our dependent variable, okay? Or the measurements or the, the observations with respect to our dependent variable. Okay. Uh, really what we're saying to ourselves is this, uh, are the effects that have been observed 
uh, on one one of our one of our independent variables? Do they depend on the levels or the observations on one of the levels of our second independent variable? And that's known as an interaction. Okay. Like in previous videos, uh, I've already turned on the data analysis tool pack uh, within my version of Excel here. To find the data analysis tool pack, we simply go to the data ribbon. Click on the data ribbon. Uh, in, in this version and where it's come up here is across on the right hand side, it's labeled data analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose data analysis. We get a pop-up window that looks something like this. We're looking for an ANOVA. There's three types of ANOVAs that we can undertake using the data analysis tool pack. There's a single factor ANOVA, there's a two-factor ANOVA with replication, and there's a two-factor ANOVA without replication. Now, in this case, we have got replication and it's a balanced design, meaning that the sample sizes for all pairings of levels of the independent variables are the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose two ANOVA two-factor with replication. And I'm just going to hit OK on that. Okay. Actually, I've already run this earlier on. Let me just actually uh, clear this here. Okay, so I'm just going to clear the, the inputs. Okay.